Let's talk about something a bit different today. If you're like me, balancing coding sessions and staying active can sometimes feel like trying to mix oil and water. Not easy, right? That's why about a year ago I've bought the best product ever as a developer so far. Trust me, it's been a total game changer for my health. So welcome back, I'm Przemek and in this material I will show you how I improved my health while working and making the coding sessions. Check it out! As developers we are practically glued to our chairs, aren't we? <laughs> this lifestyle isn't exactly what we would call active. Everyone keeps saying, oh, just get moving, make the exercises and many more, but where's the time for this between work, family duties and the need to rest? I don't know. I've tried a few times to adopt a healthier lifestyle, but I've struggled to make it at least habit. I usually start uh, off great, I'm all in, working hard, seeing results and I am feeling motivated. But then, something slips. Day by day I find myself working out less and resting more, and before I know it, I'm back to my old, less healthy ways. Of course, laziness plays a part here, but there's more to it. Being a young parent has taught me that how tough parenting can be. It's no surprise that I often end up needing rest more than a workout, which results in my belly getting a bit bigger each day. I find myself feeling more tired, sleepy and drained of energy more often than not. That's why a little over a year ago I got myself a walking pad and started walking while working. And oh boy, it was like winning a lottery. After using it for about 1.5 year, I've reached more than three and a half thousand kilometers, so I'm halfway to America. Now I'm curious to see how long it will take to walk around the world. <laughs> In just a few months I managed to drop 10 kilograms, and yeah, you had that right. My energy level soared and I felt much better, both mentally and physically. Simply replacing sitting with walking during work hours made a huge difference for me, and I hope that it will work for you too. If you are thinking about getting a walking pad, my tip is to start slow. Mix it into your day bit by bit and see how it feels. I started with just an hour a day and increased it little by little, because it's all about making it comfortable part of your daily life, not a hassle. A lot of folks also ask how to stay focused while walking, and honestly, it works pretty well once you find the right speed. For me, walking at about 3 km per hour felt too slow. It made me keep thinking about walking, which was distracting. 4 km per hour was too quick and made it hard to focus. When I found my perfect piece at 3.5 km per hour, it was great. I could walk and walk without feeling like I was walking at all. Of course, it's important to remember to wear the right shoes. Walking without them is not an option because you could hurt yourself pretty quickly. I invested in simple shoes with thin mesh to keep my feet from sweating too much, and it was enough. So what walking pad to buy? I will be honest with you, I got so excited about the idea that I didn't spend much time checking out the possibilities. I picked up the simplest and cheapest model, walking pad A1 Pro. Looking bad, I probably should have done more research, but in the end, I have no regrets, it was worth it. I've bought a used one, so it was even cheaper, but the official shop has a bunch of options, so definitely take a look and find one that suits your needs. The biggest drawback initially was the official app. It was terrible. Synchronization with Apple Health kept constantly failing, so I ended up adding my workouts manually. However, a few months ago they rolled out a huge update and now I can say, I can't say a bad word about the app. It works smoothly, syncs properly and even has a scoreboard. We all enjoy a bit of competition, right? For me that's been a really fun and motivating feature. I've even been the second longest training man in the world a few times. When it comes to size, I had to go for the smallest model because my workspace doesn't have a lot of room. I will show you how it fits perfectly. It's the only version that would work in my space. Also, it doesn't take too much space when folded and even I use it as a leg holder when I'm sitting. That's a nice added bonus. So that's my take on the walking pad. It's not just another piece of exercise equipment, it's a tool that has significantly improved my life. Whether you are a fellow developer or just someone looking to inject a bit more activity into your daily routine, a walking pad might be exactly what you need, especially if you don't have a time after work and especially if you're working at home. What about you? How do you guys manage to stay active with a busy schedule? Got any tips for gad or gadgets that have worked for you as the walking pad for me? 
drop your thoughts in the comments below, I'd love to hear what keeps you moving. And that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this short video about the walking pad. I was wondering if I should done more videos like this without uh, a lot of technical information um, that are more casual. Um, and I think that I've, I've done the great decision. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? And if you managed to stay with me until now, please drop a comment big belly <laughs> and let me know that you are here. It will be really pleased to see you there. So, uh, if you didn't have managed to subscribe to my channel, do this now. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to thumbs up, because it will also help me. So, thank you for your time today and see you next time. Bye-bye.